All right, everyone. Today we're going to be looking at how to replace the brush head unit in a Roomba 500, 600, or 700. This is the 700 enhanced brush head here, and um, you can install this on a 500, 600, or 700. And I've got a Roomba 500 here that I put a new lithium battery into, and I've also um, put a new AeroVac bin and got it all kind of reconditioned here so my um, cleaning brush head still works but I decided to go ahead put a new one in so I want to show it just how to do it it'll be the same on all the five six and seven hundred Roombas these screws here you unscrew these four first you take off your side brush there like I did then you unscrew these four screws but you shouldn't have to put, get them all the way out they, they come almost all the way out and then uh, they pop off there I get this one not quite get all the screws just loosen like that they come right out then you're gonna have four more screws to get in here <laughs> we're gonna have one here 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 and here and that's gonna take out our cleaning head I'm just gonna pull off the dustbin here it's the new AeroVac dustbin if you got a 500 series without this AeroVac upgrade I definitely recommend this as well that's a simple just push on thing so for this get out your screws and these screws actually do come all the way out we're gonna reuse these or actually no we're not gonna reuse these the new one came with screws so we don't have to don't even have to worry about taking these all the way out and putting them in the new one the new one has its own screws so really simple here we just have these four screws almost done also really recommend this lithium power lithium replacement battery so once you unscrew these just pull it right up and out and uh, not too dirty in here it doesn't look like I have to clean this out really pretty uh, pretty nice and as you see here's a little plug that it plugs into and I believe that it, yep our new one has it right here and they just push in so, just get a little bit more dust wiped out of inside there. I'll get my vacuum to suck some of that up and off the ground. I'll <coughs> now all we do is put this back in. Get it in. And down there. And then, just screw it back in. Once you get these four screws in, you just put back on your top plate, and then you side brush, and you're done. So this this should really um, get a smaller screwdriver here. This should really help just get the uh, you know the brush section working like new or actually better than new because you have the um, it's you know an updated system here. It's designed many years in the future that screw I'm starting to strip actually I gotta be careful get a flat one here there we go kinda strip that in there might not replace this again <laughs> you can get screws out in lots of different ways though alright so here's the last one And looks like it's all tightened in as much as it needs. This one could be tightened more. But now we're just going to put back on this cover. Tighten those down. Put back on our side brush. And uh, you got a whole new brush assembly now. Refurbish your Roomba a little bit. Like I said, I got the new battery and new bin as well. So 500 here is basically like a new Roomba. Just wanted to show how to do that. Really simple. Have any questions, let me know. We'll see you all later.